Alan Turing, in the late 1930s, gave us a theoretical model of computers that's come to be known as the Turing machine. It was used for the study of an important theoretical matter at the time and is still used in theory today in computer science. Someone once actually built a physical Turing machine and that's what you see in front of you. And that someone is my dad, this guy, Wesley Clark, together with his colleague Bob Arnzen. They put this together in the early 1970s as part of an educational project. I always tell people that these striped pants that you're wearing are bell-bottom pants. They must have been. Mm -hmm. Tell the truth. You can't see the stripes in the foot. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>